In this video, I'd like to talk about the math question of the day for Saturday, May 20th, 2023. And with this problem, we are given a logarithmic function with base 4, where the input of this logarithm is a cubic polynomial. And we need to find dy dx, or the derivative of this function y, with respect to x. And the derivative or differentiation techniques are typically taught in a Calculus 1 class. So at this point, go ahead and pause the video, see if you can work through this on your own. And when you're ready, unpause the video and we can go through this together. Now, assuming that you have attempted the problem, let's start working through it. And for this problem, to take the derivative of this function, we will need to take the derivative of a logarithm and then we'll use the chain rule. We'll take the derivative of the outer function, this logarithmic function, and then multiply by the derivative of the inner function, this cubic polynomial. So just as a refresher, let's say we have a function f of g of x, a composite function or a function within a function like we have here, and we want to take the derivative of this with respect to x. This would be equal to the derivative of that outer function while keeping that inner function the same, multiplied by the derivative of the inner function. This is just the chain rule. And we will also need to know how to take the derivative of logarithms. And if you forget the formula for the derivative of logarithms, what you can do is remember the formula for finding the derivative of the natural log. And then from there, you can rederive the formula for any logarithm. Since the derivative of this function, h of x, with respect to x, this natural log function is just 1 over x. And let's say we have log base a of x, we can rewrite this using the change of base formula. And we can just use e as our new base for the numerator and denominator. We can write this as the natural log of x divided by the natural log of a. And essentially, we can just factor out that natural log of a. And then we, again, have this natural log function. It's just now multiplied by 1 over the natural log of a. So let's say this is its own function. We can call it maybe m of x. And when we take its derivative, we have a constant. So that will just carry along. We have 1 over the natural log of a multiplied by the derivative of the natural log function, which we know is 1 over x. So for our case, a will be 4. But... This is the formula for the derivative of any logarithm. And again, it's just based off knowing the derivative of the natural log and understanding the change of base formula. So let's start by just rewriting our given equation. y is log base 4 of x to the third power minus 7x plus 5. And let me make a little bit of room here. We can now apply this formula for the derivative of this logarithm and the formula for the chain rule. So let's take the derivative of y with respect to x, which we can also just write as y prime. We have the derivative of our outer function, which we know is 1 over whatever the input is. And we also have the natural log of the base. Let me rewrite that, ln of 4 multiplied by this input of the logarithm, which is x to the third minus 7x plus 5. And then we need to multiply all of this by the derivative of the inner function. And for this, we'll just use the power rule. We'll bring the 3 down in front, and then we can subtract 1 from the exponent. So we have 3x squared. For this next term, we have minus 7x to the first power. We can bring down the 1. We're, again, just using that power rule and one times negative seven is still negative seven. And then multiplied by x to the zero power, which is just one, so we can just leave this as minus seven. And then 
we have the derivative of this constant, but the rate of change of a constant is zero. So the derivative of this five here is zero. And if we want, we can combine all this into just one simplified fraction, three x squared minus seven, divided by the natural log of four, multiplied by x cubed minus seven x plus five. And if you do wanna check this, you can use an online calculator that will actually evaluate derivatives for you.